Now, after a year of hard work and so much sacrifice, the rule is very simple. Get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do. It's vaccinated or masked. Get vaccinated. If you're vaccinated, you can be around the vaccinated or unvaccinated people. But if you're not vaccinated or not fully vaccinated, you should wear a mask for your own protection or the protection of other unvaccinated people. The choice is yours. You all made this possible. Now let's finish the work of beating this virus and getting everything back to normal. We, in fact, if you don't, if you haven't been vaccinated, wear your mask for your own protection and the protection of the people who are also have not been vaccinated yet. It's not an enforcement thing. We're not going to go out and arrest people. But the fact of the matter is, I still believe the vast majority of the American people care about the safety of their neighbors and care about the safety of their families. And like I said, if you've been vaccinated, you don't have to wear your mask and you can shake hands. You can even give each other a hug. If the unvaccinated get vaccinated, they will protect themselves and other unvaccinated people around them. If they do not, states with low vaccination rates may see those rates go up, may see this progress reversed. Ultimately, those who are not vaccinated will end up paying the price. The Delta virus, which is much more transmissible and more deadly in terms of non-unvaccinated people, the, vi the, the, the various shots that people are getting now cover that. They're, they're, you're okay. You're not going to... You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Yeah. Vaccinated Americans can travel, but at the same time said we don't recommend it. That can be rather confusing. Is there a medical reason why vaccinated people should not travel? Yeah, Chef, good to be with you. And I think it has to do with the fact that we still have people traveling from and to places where we're seeing double-digit increases in cases. And even if you're vaccinated, you don't know who around you might be or might not be high risk. And therefore, that is a scenario set up, especially with these variants, where people can get sick and unfortunately end up in a hospital. And we're seeing younger people, Shep, in the hospitals, which is disturbing. Fully vaccinated, it's very, very unlikely you end up in an ICU or on a ventilator or dying from COVID, which is fantastic news. When the vaccines first came out, the data from the clinical trials was really positive about preventing illness. There wasn't data about whether the vaccine prevented transmission. So several things have happened. One is that the real world experience with the vaccines is equal to the clinical trials because we weren't sure that the actual you know, experience in the public of the vaccines would be as good as the clinical trials. And the, certainly the mRNA vaccines have proven to be as good or better uh, in, in the clinical trials and preventing illness. Um, but the most important thing is that there's more and more data that the vaccines cut way, way down on transmission. And that we just didn't know from the, the trials. They weren't set up that way. So now- and Walk us through what we know. Yeah, Chef, there's been a lot of confusing information out there today, but here's what we do know. In the U.S., more than 97 percent of people getting hospitalized with COVID right now are unvaccinated. That's from the CDC director at the White House COVID briefing on Friday. Now, public health experts point out the vaccines hold up well against severe disease caused by the Delta variant, but they're not 100 percent. And the majority of breakthrough cases leading to hospitalization and death are in older people or those with weakened immune systems, according to reporting from our colleagues at NBC News. The CDC says of more than 159 million Americans who are fully vaccinated, about 5,000 have been hospitalized and about 1,000 have died. One piece of data missing, though, is how many breakthrough infections there have been in the U.S., not just those that result in severe disease. Studying this more could get to questions like how likely it is you can transmit COVID if you're fully vaccinated. And that's been leading to increasing pressure on the CDC, including this morning from Dr. Scott Gottlieb. There are breakthrough inf um, infections occurring in vaccinated people. I don't, I don't think it's an overwhelming number, but we're not tracking it here in the United States. And that's the bottom line. We should be tracking it. 
vaccinated. But cases in vaccinated people do happen. The CDC estimates about 35,000 per week among 162 million people in the U.S. who are vaccinated. Now, the agency released a case study today on the major outbreak we've been hearing about in Provincetown, Massachusetts, that began around July 4th, where among 469 cases in Massachusetts, 74 percent were fully vaccinated. We spoke with a young man who came down with COVID after visiting. I work out five or six days a week, and I was truly off my feet for six out of the past 11 days, um, which was shocking to me and surprising. Now, he said he was fully vaccinated and believes if he hadn't been, he'd have had to get medical care. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky saying the findings from Provincetown were a pivotal reason behind the updated mask guidance this week. That even fully vaccinated people, if infected, can carry high viral loads and potentially be contagious. We are seeing that the uh, ability of individuals who are infected through breakthrough infections, namely vaccinated people who ultimately get infected, that they are generally without symptoms or minimally symptomatic. However, it is clear that they are capable of transmitting the infection to uninfected individuals. And the data that they reported indicates that if you look at the level a virus in the nasopharynx of a person who's vaccinated and has a breakthrough infection and compare that to the level of virus in the nasopharynx of an unvaccinated person who's infected, they're essentially equivalent, which would go along and underscore the fact that vaccinated people who do have a breakthrough infection are clearly capable of transmitting the infection to an uninfected person. If you're vaccinated, you can be around the vaccinated or unvaccinated people. If you've been vaccinated, you don't have to wear your mask and you can shake hands. You can even give each other a hug.